Hey, hey friends, Steve Havel, coach, consultant, ambassador, share on the love. And today I want to talk about when is enough enough. You know, when you've had it up to here with something you've been doing, some behavior, some belief, some activity that you just know is not serving you. And it's just not moving you towards what you want to go. It may be comfortable, it may be comfortably uncomfortable could be whatever that thing is, staying up late, having that extra beer, the glass of wine, the dessert, whatever that is for you, you get to this point. Don't you know what I mean? You get to this point where you just something inside snaps and you say, enough already, enough. That's it. I've had it up to here. It's time for a change. And it just becomes so painful to avoid making that change that it's just time to make it. It's time to do whatever it takes. And you decide and you resolve yourself to just lean in and do the work and do whatever it is to to make that change. That dissatisfaction can be such an incredible and powerful motivator to help you get where you want to be. So just know that the best way to know what you want in life is to know for sure what you don't want. It's one of those simple Steve Havelisms that is just really, really true in my opinion. I've seen this happen again and again. If you're unhappy with something, flip it over. If it's staying up late and you know that that's pushing your whole morning late the next day, which has been my thing, then it's about getting back in your routine. And that's exactly what happened. The example in my life is I just came off a of vacation. You probably saw that video last week from Cabo where I was talking about the power of vacation. And then I got back into the groove. I got home and I kept staying up late and I kept getting up late the next day and it just kept throwing off my cycle. I lost my rhythm, my routine. And that kind of thing happens. And after about five days of just not being in the groove and being tired and staying up late and being out of sync, I just said, that's it, enough, enough is enough. And that's what had me want to share this video with you. And it just takes that time. It takes, it, it takes the commitment to just invoke the power of your free will, our greatest birthright, to say, that's it. I'm ready for a change. I'm ready and committed to move beyond whatever I'm doing that's bringing me some temporary happiness where I'm comfortably uncomfortable because I stay up late watching that extra show or doing whatever. And you know, we all have that. Whatever that guilty pleasure is, whatever that thing is that's holding you back from that next level, that's what this message is about. To identify it and to move beyond what you want in the moment to what you know is going to serve the greater good in your life. And that's the big message today. So this week, as always, three challenges to move the needle. If you're anything like me, you got anything like that going on in your life, lean in. Here's the recipe. The first thing is to identify those one to three areas where you know there's some next level for you. You know there's something that you've been taking on like it's a birthright, like nobody's going to tell me not to do that. But you also know it's not serving you. It's not moving you in the direction that you're committed to. And what is it that it's going to take to help you really live your dream. It could be just, you know, something that you're eating that you know is not serving you in terms of your goals of whatever your well-being. It could be fitness. It could be uh, even a belief or an activity that's not moving you forward in the direction that you know you want to go. So identify those one to three areas. That's number one. Number two is really identify the ideal. And remember, just flip the script, turn it over. The best way to know what you want is to know what you don't want. Well, if you know that you don't like, for instance, for me, staying up late and the way it feels in the morning, the way I'm tired, it starts the day off slow, I lose that rhythm and routine, then you know that the benefit and the entire recipe lives in just getting to bed earlier, getting up earlier, getting back in your rhythm, back in the routine. So identify what is it that new beginning looks like? What are the actions, the activities that it's going to take to get you there? And what new belief can you put in place around it? Hey, by going to bed early and waking up early, I'm going to start my day with great momentum. I'm going to have the clarity, the focus, and the juice to be able to deliver the goods on my dreams, my goals, my focus on serving and commitment to really being a lamplighter out there in the world. So that's a great example. You just create a new belief and you install that sucker. And then the third one is make that decision to do the work to really lean in and to make it joyful. You know, take some time in the morning, just visualize it going exactly the way you'd like it to go. See that creative visualization. Understand that new behavior and the benefit it can be in your life, the impact that it's gonna be when that's done. You can see yourself from the end. You can really, really create that greater awareness in yourself to really understand how inspired you can be by putting this into play. 
So when you see it through and you have that positive expectancy, that's number two. That's when you can really start to get the benefit and the momentum to keep you getting it in the muscle to do that thing again and again. And the third is just make that decision. Like I said, you visualized it and be grateful for it. As I said, number three is so powerful because the gratitude, that positive expectancy, seeing it come in advance is going to shift your state your state of awareness, your state of consciousness, you're gonna be much more consciously directed and moving towards the things that you know are gonna inspire you and light you on fire towards living your dream. So that's this week's message, my friend. I hope that it serves you. Until next week, you know what to do. Get out there, share the love, keep it real, live your dream today.